Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Iwalani. I'm here to give you your general reading for this time. This is a timeless reading so whenever you receive this message is when you are supposed to hear it. I am going to be reading for fire signs today. Fiery, confident, creative leaders of the zodiac. Okay, uh, first let's go ahead and clear the space. With this magic wand. I already meditated on the cards. I'm going to go ahead and give them a quick shuffle before I begin. And thank you for joining today. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for being with me to deliver this message for the collective. Let's get some messages for our fire signs, our beautiful, fiery, confident leaders of the zodiac. Let's go. Please make it clear. Oh, that's good. The first card we have out is the King of Wands. And today I'm going to be reading the current situation, the obstacle. And the advice. Let's get our second card today for our three card spread. Thank you, Spirit, for your divine guidance and inspiration and messages. Please make it clear. Thank you. The next card we have out is the Ace of Cups. Mm. And let's get a card for the advice. Oh, we have two cards out. Ooh, we have the Empress and the High Priestess. There's some powerful cards out here. So since these both came out, I'll read both of them. Alright, so with this King of Wands in the current situation, let's go ahead and talk about that. Look at this King. This king is holding an instrument that is both a scepter and a light, right? It's for protection and for guidance. His companion is a bobcat. Um, it's not as uh, fiery as like a leopard, but its spirit is strong. A kitten on his helmet symbolizes that this king's protection of the weak and his paternal companion. So um, this is an honest and conscious conscientious person, mature, wise, devoted, friendly, sympathetic, um, someone who's educated, very loyal, you know, um, so that might be you, a uh, fire signs, we are very loyal, I'm a Leo, um, and the other fire signs that I know are extremely loyal individuals and honest, sometimes you know, truthful to a fault sometimes can be a little bit hurtful. So if, you know, something is uh, excessive right now as far as you being, um, having ideas, right? Having creative ideas. You just be careful in how you deliver messages to people and you want to have finesse and you want to be able to deliver powerful messages without, uh, Sometimes overwhelming people, right? It's like it's a balance um, because fire fire signs can spark a lot of imagination and ideas, and sometimes um, that can go. If it goes overboard, it can get out of control. It can lead to uh, not being grounded. It can lead to excessiveness, indulgence. Um, you know, being a little too harsh or too severe. So yeah, rein it in. Remember that that honesty and that truthfulness can also be delivered with a dose of kindness. Okay. Um, so the challenge position, we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Look at this card. I love this card. All right. We got, since we got the Ace of Cups, ooh, we're talking about love. We're talking about, um, fulfillment is that might be a challenge right now okay let's talk about the cat right here is in a state of extreme bliss he literally floats with joy his tall points uh, his tail points upward to the source of his ecstasy 
the contents of the cup. So this card all is all about abundance, right? Fulfillment, joy, opulence, ful uh, fullness, happiness, productiveness, beauty, pleasure, goodness overflowing, right? Um, and since it's in the challenge or the obstacle position, you might be struggling with um, trying to really feel those feelings, right? Feeling happy, feeling goodness overflowing, feeling like you are full and are in a state of bliss, feeling beautiful. Um, or are you clouded? Is your joy clouded? Are you going through changes right now where it feels like maybe you're in, instable, in, have instability or inconsistency? So um, since it's coming up in the obstacle position, you, you got to try and look to ways to find your bliss again, to find your joy again, to find ways where you do feel productive, where you do feel beautiful. You know, put on that outfit. Um, go out. Take a, t go on that date. Go explore. Go um, try something new. Try something that you've really been wanting to try but haven't done it. Uh, maybe you've been being too hard on yourself. You know, talking about this King of Wands, talking about being too severe and too harsh. You know, ease up on yourself. Be gentle with yourself so that you do know that you are that fiery, confident star leader. You do have everything it takes inside of you to become abundant and opulent and full of joy. So, yeah, go seek that out. Go, you got to find it. And the advice... Two cards came up in the advice, the Empress and the High Priestess. The advice, what's the Empress's advice though? The Empress. Let's look at this card. I love these cards. This is the card. Tarot of the Cat People by Karen Kiyukindal. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description for that. But look at this Empress, right? The Empress... She is practical and concerned with the nitty-gritty of everyday life, though. Okay, maybe like a little shrewd, forceful, open-minded, controlling, and that be a little excessive, opportunistic. Um, look at her helmet. She's wearing a headdress to symbolize her strong, no-nonsense outlook. And she has a snow leopard companion. It appears docile. But in reality, it's on alert for any opportunity that presents itself. And the Empress is very much the feminine counterpart of the Emperor, right? So we have the Empress showing up in the advice position, meaning progress, action, natural energy, development, fruitfulness, accomplishment, accomplishment. interest in the day-to-day -day details, you know, talking about maternal instincts, uh, feminine influence, divine feminine, children, mater material wealth, you know, as we were talking about abundance, this is a leader. And the decisions founded upon all the facts at hand is that you are, in fact, a motivator. You are successful. And the more you tap into that power of the Empress, the more you will realize that you are the Ace of Cups. You do have the Ace of Cups. You are on the path to the Ace of Cups, okay? Don't let your, um, like, a lack mindset or uh, lack of concentration or indecision or feeling like anxiety or, uh, or excessiveness, indulgence, getting off balance is holding you back. You know, there's, if there's things that you need to let go of um, that are holding you back, to achieve this state of bliss, like the Ace of Cups here, then, then you need to make some changes, okay? The Empress is looking at you like, okay, we're doing too much right now. Are we being, are we being too harsh? Are we being too, um, too lazy? Are we not doing enough? Are we not taking care of ourselves? Are we not stretching? Are we, are we eating too many of the wrong things? You know, like really look at it. Really mother and uh, mother yourself. Take care of yourself. Nourish yourself. Nourish your body. Nourish your mind. Nourish your spirit. Okay? And the high priestess came up also in the advice position because um, 
Let's look at the High Priestess card. Oh, these cards are fire. I love them. The High Priestess wears this headdress as a uh, sim. It's symbolic of a meteor shower. Ooh, that's so cool. It's sparks of light illuminating the darkness, and her guardian watch cats posted at the gates of knowledge have eyes glowing with secrets. Mm. And this card signifies wisdom, knowledge, learning, education, intuition. You know, you have so much inside of you. You have so much virtue. Um, you know, you might be a little controlling because we got two of them. We got two controlling cards up in the advice position. So um, this tells me, like, let's go take control of your life. Take control of your bliss. Uh, you know, if you're thinking, like, maybe it's selfish to take care of yourself or, um, you know, superficial. No, it's not. It's not. It's highly, highly beneficial to take care of yourself. Take time out for yourself. Stand in your power that you need to take a break sometimes to reach your bliss so that you can be that powerful leader, creative, creator. Okay, y'all. Uh, fire signs. I'm going to need y'all to take a little... Take it easier on yourselves. Okay? Don't be so... And, and on your... And the people around you. Don't be so harsh, y'all. Okay? Because I know sometimes we got a tongue that can bite. Sometimes we can't take those words back. Okay? So, mind your words. Be gentle with yourself. Step into your bliss. And let's keep it going. Thank you so much for joining me, Fire Signs. Much love, peace, and healing to you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!